What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and welcome back to your Tuesday Thoughts and Motivation. And so we're going to begin some Spooktober courses for your Time Trial Tuesday episodes, and I thought why not start it off with a journey through time of Bowser's Castle, starting with the very first Bowser's Castle, just did a run here. I only did uh, three previous practice runs, so... Honestly, I just wanted to get this video out to you guys, get it recorded and get it done. So I'm sure if I sat down and tried this course like, you know, 30 or 40 times, I could probably do a much, much better run. In fact, I know I could. But honestly, I just don't want to sit here and just replay this course about 30 times like how I bumped the wall there and then bumped it again. Oh my god, these hairpin turns and these Bowser's castles, as you will see. And I hope that you will join me as we take a journey through time and... Bowser's Castle, starting with the first one, and then we'll do a quick run of Bowser's Castle 2 for the Super Nintendo, before we journey over to the Nintendo 64 port, and finish off with the Nintendo GameCube port. So, hope you guys are all excited. We're just gonna watch this replay real quick. All things considered, it wasn't too bad of a run, considering it was, you know, how rusty I am at this game. <laughs> Honestly, though, I will say, I would love to see Mocking JYT or the Game Shark, Linden, over at Old School Games and Stories, play through these Bowser's castles and show me a time with a perfect run, and then tell me how many times it took you to try. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just that awful at these that, you know, sit here and have to replay them over and over and over again. I think with a few tries, Linnick can get a pretty good time in these. So. Ah, uh, who do we want to try? Ah, uh, I'm pretty out of practice. So, I guess we'll go with Koopa here. Let's go over to Bowser's Castle number two. Now practice a warm-up to this one, my previous times, as you can see here. Now let's see how we do. Gotta get focused here. This one's a bit harder. First lap is always the easiest. You don't have the Thwomp's active, so that makes things quite easy for you. Oof, darn it, try to cut that corner too tight. Oh no, this one's not too bad, actually. Maybe I was thinking of Bowser's Castle number three. I mean, this part, like, through here, through, I guess, what's kind of the middle of the course is kind of tricky. Right here, yeah, right, ooh, yeah, right in there. That part's really tricky, but the rest of the course really isn't that bad. Ooh, that was close. It's just that one part in the middle of the course that's tricky. Wow, I got through that whole part a lot better than I expected. Got a little speed boost in my. I was like, oh my god, why am I suddenly going a little faster? It is possible to get a mini uh, drift boost in this course. I don't exactly know how to do it. If someone wants to comment below, let me know. But it is possible. You know, it was actually while watching a Dad Racer video that I learned about the drift boost in Mario Kart 64. I used to never know about that. Until I was, had a video or something where he was playing it. So, how do we do? Ah, not bad. Alright. And now, let's go over to some Mario Kart 64. Enjoy, everybody. Thank you. 
Wow. Wow. I didn't even know that was possible. Now, let's try some Bowser's Castle for the GameCube. And now, we're into some Nintendo GameCube Bowser's Castle for Double Dash. See, here's a replay I just did where I'm playing as Koopa Troopa and Paracoopa. I'm not gonna lie, it actually took me about 30 tries to be able to get through this course without falling off. <laughs> it was pretty sad, it was pretty pathetic. I fell into the lava so many times in this course, but honestly, this was probably one of the, no, this was the best run that I finally had. These hairpin turns in this corridor right here, oh my god, they're so hard. If you take the turn too tight, you go right into the wall, and you lose all your speed, and if you take it too wide, just like that, bonk, bounce off the wall. Spot right here that I fell into the lava a couple times. At one point, I was trying to drift get my blue boost and I went off the back of the platform. I was like, how does that even happen? In case you're wondering who's behind me, that is the staff ghost that I had, which I managed to, after the first lap, completely blow past. You'd see me picking up steam and getting ahead of my staff ghost. I don't think I'll see him anymore at the rest of this race. But ooh, man, Bowser's Castle. What a spooky course for Spooktober. On your Time Trail Tuesday, thoughts and motivation. As we take a little gander down the various Bowser's Castle slash Koopa Castle's levels of the Mario Kart world. I think next week maybe we'll do some Benchy Boardwalk. Or if you guys would rather, comment and vote below and we can do some uh, Ghost Valley. Maybe do Ghost... I think it's... Ghost Valley, we do like Ghost Valley 1 for SNES, and then I think Ghost Valley 2 is for the Nintendo Wii, so come up below and let me know what you think. As we finish out this run, just hit third lap. Once I got to the third lap, I pretty well felt like, okay, now I got this. I can get through this run without falling into the lava. Oh, this part right here. Oh my god, I would... F I'd hit the fireball, spin out. They got to dodge these fireballs. Come to a hairpin, hairpin corner right there. And we go up here. Then you gotta do it again. All while trying to get any kind of drift boost that you can. Bounce off the wall. I never can take that turn tight. I never can. Fell off the course a couple times there. Oh yeah, it was bad. It's kind of sad how many times I fell off the course. But I finally made it after many, many, many struggles. So, hope you enjoyed it everybody. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.